good. Yeah, well, yeah, we have one on the back. That's fine. Or you just did a couple of them. I did a couple. Okay, so anything else you want to answer to do? How are we doing, Pastor? Okay, good. pretty good. So, I do have a question about what made you decide upon the name of Root? I'm a web application developer, and I love the idea that you're using Root. And Root is the root of all evil. It's the root directory, and of course, if you're the root user, then you can do as much bad stuff as you want. So, how did you... you... just answered your question much more elegantly than I was. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm done then. No, no. <laughs> no, we love that. We love the intersection of it. I, I was a, a coder, not a terribly good one. When someone credits you with a good idea, always say yes. I heard that a long time ago. Um, I think, you know, I'm always interested in the question of artificial intelligence, but I feel like with our show, to keep it grounded, to keep it relatable, we take it very, very slowly. So we endeavor to make all the technology you see in the show as, as real as possible. The writer has an idea for how Finch or Reese get up on someone's computer, their phone, they've got to justify it with existing technology. And then the leap is really this question of what's tying all of those surveillance technologies together. Um, so we always wanted to, to sort of raise the game in terms of asking the question, what is the machine and what does that mean? And then, yeah. I got a question. In the last episode, Reese actually was, you know, um, trying to, what's the word here, reason with the machine. Sure. Like an emotional level, and I, how are machines emotional? Machines well, are just direct. Sort they don't. Of, sort of a technical they can't level. feel like you know. I'm not going to do this without them. Root so I'm sort of confused with that. Amy Hager's character makes the case in the premiere that that the Finch has made a fully fledged intelligence. Did Finch make the computer a little bit emotional? Like you well, know, something you usually happens to him. Or? You got to stay tuned. You got to stay tuned. I mean, you know, Finch has said that he hasn't made an artificial intelligence, and that's one of the questions that we're going to oh, right. we're going to look at this season. So that the machine can actually feel or something like that. That's the question. I mean, I think the, the way that the way that re, there's a, an emotional component to Jim's performance when you know when he's in that right, moment. But he said I can't do it without him. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like, but I life. think there's also what he's putting to the machine in those moments as much tactical as it is anything else. He's saying, look, if I'm gone and he's gone, no one's answering the phone calls. So do the math. Right. If it's all right, you know, he the, won't the, do it unless the, you know the the, uh, I got it. Uh, the needs of the many versus the needs of the few. Well, this is the needs of nobody. No one's no one's listening. Right. So I think you can look at it as as, as a sort of an emotional logic, but you can also see that there's there's a tactical question underneath it. What the machine is responding to is a question we're going to continue kind of posing. I got a question. I, I've seen everybody in the cast. Where's the machine? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Watch this right now. The camera's right there. Will the machine have a name or is it going to be called the machine? You know, like Iron Man had Jarvis or a Kid had Knight Rider. We actually kind of thought the ubiquity of it. I got it. Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. I love it. That's a good name. I loved it. Um, we wanted something just like Ruth that expressed that this was somehow kind of more than that, but this was so elemental. I mean, the, you know, the, the, the genre of science fiction that deals with this question is, you know, singularity, singularity. Uh, and that's such an elemental kind of idea and concept. We wanted something that was simultaneously uh, fundamental in that way, uh, unspecific, uh, but also uh, slightly old-fashioned and tactile, which is you know, so much of Finch's, the, you know, that character is the collision between the old and the new. A library filled with books, but also computers that you can use to hack into almost any, any network. So calling it the machine 
little bit of a chip of the hat to the kind of steampunk, Babbage, you know, computational engine stuff from the 19th century. You know, when I first saw the show, the first thing I thought about was that movie, Enemy of the State. Sure. Absolutely. Automatically, I was like, oh my God, it's Absolutely. like, you know, the tracking, the satellite, everything follows. We looked at, was that an influence, that movie on you? Huge Tony Scott fan. It's a little bit of Enemy of the State. It's also a little bit of Man on Fire. Okay. Our show. Uh, Denzel's character in Man on Fire. Is he good? Is he bad? And then, of course, you save them or put them away. And then, for these two first episodes, you're varying it. There's a little bit more humor. Sure. And what else are we going to see with the variation of the formula this season? Well, I think you know, one of the things that we, I was excited about with the idea for the show is so many different ways in and out of it, so many different ways that you can, you can uh, uh, come up with an episode of our show. Uh, and so we just keep trying to reinvent the formula week in and week out uh, in terms of. What are, they, what are they looking at? What mistakes can these guys make along the way? And how does that trip them up? But also, continue, I mean, we try to cook humor into pilot every episode thereafter. Uh, and as you, as you figure out what works for your characters, for your acting, you can tell me to never more. But I think, you know, to keep ourselves interested and amused as writers, and hopefully the same is true for the audience, the show wants to be many different things. We have our episodes that are, even within episodes, we always endeavor to have moments of humor, moments of emotion, moments of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of darkness, moments of light. Um, I thought it ended great last season, looking at the camera. Oh, thank you. And that phone call. Excellent. We're always trying to, trying to keep, keep, uh, keep everybody. We work right there, like half a block. Oh, you guys are right there? That's what I was going to ask you. Oh, you guys are in the box Yes, sir. Yeah, right there. there. You're right there. Right after yeah, the Season one, seems like it was shot.